Julian, trying to assess the human condition, what it's all about, lots of ways we can study ourselves in the universe. And one way is to compare humans to other animals. We've evolved, other animals have evolved. Uh, we're th we think we're very special, certainly our culture and development is. Uh, uh, from your experience uh, as a neuroscientist and looking at um, the uh, developmental process that human beings can go through, um, how do you compare humans and animals? So humans have this incredibly slow developmental time course. So they come out of the womb and they can't do anything. They can't even turn their heads most of the time, right? Things float in front of their face and like it takes forever for them to recognize, oh, it's my hand. And then they still can't control it. I mean, it's unbelievable. How um, helpless they are. Helpless and amoebic. Yeah. Uh, compared to say, if you've ever seen a horse or a cow being born, you know, they get up, oh, well, now I'm standing up. Well, now I'm walking over here, and yeah. now I'm nursing, now I'm eating grass. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So the difference is huge. Even um, killer whales, I've, I did some work on uh, killer whale communication. They're very sophisticated animals, huge brains, lots of, uh, lots of cortex that's folded in there, just giant. They communicate uh, beautifully in different circumstances, depending on who's around them. They, they navigate all over the place. They're the unbelievably smart they're still born able to swim <laughs> go up to mom and nurse yeah. right out yeah. right um so i think that what's wonderful about that developmental time course that we have is that we get to learn so much more about culture because we are incredibly plastic we're learning about culture we're learning about language and we're learning about the meaning that's created around us and we learned that in such detail that we create these individual human societies that have these different rituals and different rules and different ways of understanding the world yeah, yeah. and that that to me that's one of the major differences between humans and animals and um, that can sometimes be to our detriment right so we get the understanding of our culture and it may be poor understanding you know, so if you if you grow up in a culture where children are beaten and the understanding is, you know, we have to beat you because we have to make you strong. Right. Um, that's that's potentially poor understanding. And I would say from an objective point of view and a survival point of view, that's poor understanding because that potentiates the chance that the next child will be beaten, which may not be so great for the brain and the other parts of the body uh, we know isn't great. Um, so. So what if it's wrong? What if the information is wrong? Right? And that's sort of the downfall. That's the problem with being a human. The information that a killer whale baby is getting is correct for the species because it doesn't have to learn. It doesn't learn all this extra stuff, right, about society. And I think because we're we're so plastic and we're picking up on all this extra information, that molds the conscious brain um, to be much more dominant. And the lack of aware, the wall between the conscious brain and the unconscious to be much more solid. In humans. In humans. As opposed to animals. As opposed to animals. So I think, you would believe animals have both a conscious and unconscious uh, lives? Oh, sure. Yeah, I think that's demonstrable. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in that sense, animals are similar to humans, but because of this long developmental cycle, for whatever reason, uh, it, 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 it creates uh, both positive and negative uh, uh, results for the human species. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I, my sense is that it's creating this conscious uh, experience that's much more developed in humans. Oh, oh. It's much more developed in humans, and uh, that's very positive, and that can be negative because they're, they're, we're much more out of touch with the information that our unconscious information, you know, inf unconscious information that could be available to us. And that unconscious information is more sort of com in touch with uh, uh, external realities that you can perceive in some way. And that you do perceive, uh -huh. certainly. Right. Uh, but the conscious reality is the one that's created the culture and language and yeah. all, all of the things that all make of the, uh, society. Uh, all the good stuff. Yeah, all, all, the, all the bad stuff. Human, all the good stuff. You know, di different and, uh, and, and making the human civilization and everything that in culture, right? Right, and I think it's because of that early plasticity. The, that's 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 where we where we can develop that. That's how we can that can change on a dime. And uh, and, and what is the, um, the the basis for that? If all other animals have uh, a, a very short uh, developmental time, 
Um, is that is that just some biological accident that, that humans have this long developmental time? Uh, my, yeah, I, I, my belief is yeah. My belief is that we were the we became the ones who had the long developmental time, and that's why we can talk about why is it that we have this long <laughs> developmental time, <laughs> right? Right. We, if we didn't have that long developmental time, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So, by definition, in a sense. That's who we are.